using panels in MIDI Designer, we often have trouble uh, getting the colors that we want. And I'm just going to add a panel to this left page. And I add a panel, and if I, I'm going to just size it up so it's behind some of these controls, but not all of them. And now when I do the panel by default, it has uh, this white color. But if I change the LED color, what happens is this color, regardless of what color it is, is always tainted by the background color. So I have a really nice purple that I want to show here, but it looks kind of bluish because of the green. So this is why we've included a feature called the gray page in MIDI Designer 1.6. So go back into design mode, double tap on the page, go into properties, and select gray page. Now what this does is it completely knocks out the color of the page. And now we can see the purple is truly purple because the background has no color. And the nice feature is any new panel that we add, add a new panel and it will actually have the original background color that we were trying to use. So the parts of the page that we want to have the real background color will have it and the parts of the page that we want to leave with different background colors can have that. So here we've got the purple, here we've got the greens and we can manage to get a page that looks like it's just this original green texture that we were using when in fact it's actually made up of several panels and the purple goes in there perfectly. So once again, in design mode, double tap on the page and see the gray, the gray page toggle. So here it is on and here it is off. And hopefully this will be useful mostly to advanced designers who are trying to get certain color effects in MIDI Designer. Uh, thanks for watching and thanks for using MIDI Designer.